Hi everybody, it's Celine and Titch from IamHandmade.com and uh, we have done loads of making videos of her soap but um, very few cutting videos and obviously if you do lots of making videos you eventually have to do some cutting videos so we're going to be putting up a few cutting videos in the next couple of days so this one that we're doing today is called Blue Christmas um, smells divine, looks gorgeous there's the glitter that's on it has seemed to have brought out the blue tint more in the soap or something. Okay. It's really nice. Um, it's it's different shades of blue with a kind of a a silvery white. It's not supposed to be white, white, white. Yeah. Or even white, 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 white. The it smells gorgeous. The new glitter looks very cool though. It's like frosting, which is yeah. the effect you want. Yes, it. exactly. Now this is going to be kind of hard. Ooh. Paper stuck to it because this has been sat for a few days, probably more than I've ever left the soap. So I'm hoping it's not too hard to cut. Because I'll be annoyed if it is. And I'll have to deal with that. And you'll have to deal with those consequences, my dear. Well, that's about right, I think. Just line it up. You ready? Yeah. That's not too bad. <laughs> um, definitely having to press harder than I normally would. Now, did we use a Celine swirl in this? I think we did, from what I recall. I couldn't possibly. I've actually made so many soaps, I am sort of confused now we about... forgot what was what. Yeah. Yeah. You were like, which was this one? So it was lovely. That's lovely. Just Definitely shades of blue. Yeah, I think so. That's lovely. It's gorgeous. Very pretty. Now, it's actually... This is lighter on the camera than it is in real life. It is definitely a shade of blue in itself. Yeah, it is. No, we did a pale blue for this, didn't we? It was a, uh, this darker blue, a greeny blue, and a pale oh, blue. Oh, yeah. But that, the pale blue adds a little bit of white to. Yeah. That's what it was. It's all coming back to me, my lad. So there you go. I really like that. It's gorgeous. Ooh, funky. Ooh. There was definitely some swirling going on that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's unreal. See, I love these sort of soaps, but oh my word, I see what's coming next time. <laughs> So That's funky. really nice. It's That's number eight. So <laughs> <laughs> Come down number eight. Oh, that could kind of bingo, that is. It was a joke. <laughs> Got to be a great comedian. I'm a comedian. These are really nice. They smell lovely. They do. From what I remember, this is also a sort of a berry-based scent. There's not a lot of Christmassy berry-based scents, but I actually really like berry scents. So you can see I... I, I probably put, moved the spoon down here and swirled up here and then moved the spoon down here and swirled up here. I'd yeah. say that's what it is. But I did something completely different there. It's really cool. It's, it's really funky, funky, isn't it? Yeah. Very it smells funky. lovely. Oh, definitely berry. Yeah, that's nice. So it does seem to have... I've done a lot of berry soaps for this sort of autumn winter. But they're all different variations, they aren't are. they? And... Um, I mean, there's only so many sort of mega spice soaps you can, you can make, really. But I do like the spicy ones, too. This is funky. That's cool. Really nice. Very happy with that. And Titchy's going to be able to take lots of photos. Are we? It's promised good this week, I think, weather-wise, so... Oh, look at this one. But I'm off out tonight. That's, that's not that's a swirl, that's a whirl. It looks like the earth. Doesn't it? It does actually, yeah. There. Oh, wow. Even more. Yeah. It's cool. Swirly. It's promised what? It's promised nice this week, but I'm off out a few days over the next while, so. You yes. know, we'll have to work around the 
Titchy is off gallivanting again. And you know what? I'm going to give a mention to someone. Um, oh, who? Uh, tomorrow night I'm going to a book launch of a debut author called Louise Phillips. Um, an Irish author and her new crime novel is, be, is out in bookshops now called Red Ribbons. So make sure to go on to Amazon. I'm sure you can download it on there. But yes, it's getting rave reviews and I'm going to pick up a copy tomorrow night at the launch myself. So just a shout out to a fellow Irish person. Is this um, is this the one that's a sort of a closed invite thing that you're invited sort to? Sort of, yeah, yeah. Which is um, pretty cool. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I found out today about a, an after, um, after launch event as well. Which See, but yeah. Oh, you can't you. talk about it. You're <laughs> sworn secrecy, are you? <laughs> yeah, but you're just so posh. Go out and buy Red Ribbons, a crime thriller, psychological thriller, which I love. So, well, yeah. I'll read that because that's my sort of book too. Yeah, so. I'll get cool. you one too. <laughs> well, I can't you read yours. <laughs> second copy. <laughs> More money for her. True, indeed. Okay, so this is Blue Christmas. Can you get that blue? Um, do you see the way that, that glitter is so blue there? It, the glitter is showing up blue, but I can see it. You can see it. That's my shadow. Yeah, sorry. that's your shadow. Can you look in the camera here and see yourself? You see the blue? Yeah, that's there? really yeah. blue. Yeah, it is. The glitter tends to match with the color. It the does. Glitter. Isn't that's it weird. fab? Yeah. That's really nice. This is this is glitter that I got from the conservatoire. Um, and it's much finer. This is the, the part that... Um, uh, over here where we put too much glitter on it looks a bit like cake icing but if you look at my finger it's so much finer than the glitter that you get here and the glitter that you get here is cosmetic obviously but that is that's a very fine fine grade um, I suppose you could probably use it in lipstick and stuff like that which maybe you can't with ours I'm not sure because I don't make that stuff, so I didn't check it out. But it's really nice. It looks like sort of snow iced it's on top or something. Yeah. So it smells gorgeous. I will put the fragrance description um, below in the description box down below. Um, uh, just to remind you exactly what the fragrance is. Because, like I say, we've made so many soaps in the last week or so that... Um, we're going to have to begin to label these ourselves yeah. <laughs> so that we remember. Um, um, just in anticipation for Christmas and stuff like that and trying to get everything ready. But I'm really, really happy with this. It smells gorgeous. And I think this will be really popular. Um, blue, blue always is. Anyway, yeah. people love blue soaps. And I don't make enough blue soaps, actually. You don't, I don't think. No. So I think I shall remedy that. Anyway, so Blue Christmas smells divine. Love the look of it. Full of um, buttermilk, goat's milk, yogurt, clay, silk, of course, as with every every single soap I've ever made from day one has silk in it, and that will never change. Um, this is going to be so good for your skin. Really, really good. And you're going to smell gorgeous afterwards. So, more for Jess. Great. So, check it out. Um, Titch will do photos. And we'll have them up on the Facebook page. And I will be updating the blog at some point. Um, I just haven't had time. Uh, so, thanks for watching. And we shall move on to the next cutting video. Bye. Bye.